Hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and this is Wall Test 20, Low Frequency Sounder. This is take number 5 at the intro because for some reason today, Fire Alarms and Such, my YouTube channel, did not sound right. Even though it's my name. I kept on saying it and it didn't sound right. Um, yeah, so uh, you'll see at the end there'll be some bloopers of me just kind of trying it and having it not sound right. But let's begin with Wall Test 20 Low Frequency Sounder. Uh, two changes on the board today. Um, first off is the ADT 5060 Dash S Dual Action Pull Station, conventional brand, spanking new. It was overstock. I can't believe how good of condition I got this in for 10 bucks. It's not bad. Um, yeah. And then over here is my Grinnell RMS1T lift and pull pull station. Go, going up, we have the Bosch F220-P smoke detector. There it is. And it goes into troubles. I took my head off the base. Going over is my ESL. Uh, 521BXT smoke and heat detector. Going over here, we have um, a nice faceplate, looking good as always. Going up, we have a system sensor classic ceiling mount strobe only at 75 candela. Going back down to our lovely wall plate. Over here is a system sensor P2WH-LF high candela low frequency sounder. It's set at 135 candela right now. This specific alarm, er, I can slide it, can go up to 185 candela. But for today, we are keeping it at 135 candela. This alarm is ridiculously loud. Um, if you have your sound turned up to hear me talk, you're going to want to turn it down because this alarm is so loud and I even had to cover it with tape because um, it's so loud. Also, I want to take a moment to apologize. I don't know why my camera is making that clicking sound. It's something with the internal circuit tree. There's nothing I could do about it. I'm terribly sorry. So if you guys keep asking... If I have a new camera, if that's why, nope, it's an iPhone 7, and I don't know why it keeps making that noise, but I've already spent three minutes on the intro to this wall test, so I think we're just going to start pulling some stuff. So, we're going to come over here to the Grinnell station and pull it. So, in three, two, one. And because this is sadly a two-wire device, there is no audible silence, but the strobe up here is still flashing. That's nice. These are in sync. I don't know how well you can tell, but they are in sync. So, um, it's flashing. I'm just going to reset the pull station because, you know, why not? I'm not going to reset the panel yet. So, we are going to move on to the ADT pull station. If you saw my review, uh, you saw me talk about how it's kind of a weird pull station to pull. Um, yeah. So, here we go. Push, then... Kind of funny as I'm recording this, I get a notification on my phone for a new offer on a pole station that I'm working on getting. Uh, so that's kind of funny. So we are going to take my Cat 30 key and put it in the pole station. Also, my brother decided that he is going to spy on me 
for this video, so if you see him pop around, that's why he's probably intrigued by the new sound of this low frequency sound. No! <laughs> so, hello, brother. He's down here. I think he's getting milk. Trees I got! I got trees! I got trees! Trees. Good bag. Alright. I'm in the middle of something. Anywho, sorry about that. We are going to now reset the panel. So as that is resetting, we are going to start magnet testing my smoke detector. Alrighty, so let us now magnet test the smoke detector. I'm so sorry for all the weird jump cuts and stuff, but my brother keeps annoying me. So let's go ahead and magnet test this. I just realized something that's kind of amazing that I don't know why this thing clicked on my head before. I set NAC4, NAC4 on my panel uh, on System Sensor Sync. NAC4 is all the strobes, so that. But this is a two wire device running on NAC1, which is my horn slash horn strobe NAC. And they're in sync, which is kind of weird because these are such different candelas, which usually different candelas without a sink are not always in sync because it takes different times to charge the capacitors. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Anywho, let's test this smoke detector. Give it some love because we haven't in a while. Set the panel. So, this has been Wall Test 20. Can't believe I'm already at 20. That's kind of amazing. And that is my system sensor low frequency sounder. So, as always, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. Hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and... No, that was right. Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such. That doesn't sound right. Fire Alarms and such. Why doesn't that sound right to me? Hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such. Fire Alarms and such. That's... Hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and... That doesn't sound right. Hold on. There's my magnet. <laughs> Where's my magnet? What'd you do with my magnet? What'd you do with my magnet? I don't know! There was no magnet! What color is it? Magnet color? Oh, right there. Can you leave? I'm trying to do something. <laughs> yeah. I don't come do this to yours. I know. Why do I still have your button? <laughs> well, yeah, I got trees. Okay, this is so not the time.